And welcome back. El Centro College in downtown Dallas found itself the center of a tragedy one year ago tomorrow. The Dallas police ambush. College President Jose Adames with us looking forward, not back. You were kind enough to join us, uh, join us a year ago, shortly after yes. this tragedy happened. Um, mm. Hard to believe it's been a year. It seems like it was yesterday as we were just talking um, because we all had the, still the emotions, strong emotions of what occurred uh, that evening. How did you find out? And just just kind of give us a refresher for folks who don't know. It was basically your geography that, that caught you in the middle of this. Uh, there was a protest downtown, uh, and as people were breaking up from the protest, all hell broke loose, and you happened to be, it happened to be near your campus. Unfortunately, our college was just the location. Uh, we had uh, classes that day, so all of we had people in the building. The lights were on in the first level. Uh, the doors had been locked. Uh, so I think it was just an attraction because of all the lights that we had on the first floor, in my opinion. And it was just location. Had, there was no reason, no cause why our building was selected as opposed to another building in, this, in the immediate area. Right, right. The gunman uh, began shooting near there, fled inside the building where he was eventually killed. A couple of your police officers were almost Sir. tragically involved. They, they both survived. That, that's correct. Two of our police officers were on the first level protecting the entrances and uh, the gunman fired through the, the glass and they were injured. One by uh, parts of a bullet mm -hmm. and the other one by glass. And one of those officers went out uh, onto the street in an unfortunately unsuccessful attempt to save the life of one of the uh, police officers that, who was gunned down. Yeah, yeah that's, that's correct. It, the extraordinary bravery, I mean, uh, those of us that are not in the police force would probably be thinking about, uh, you know, getting away. Right. They, they were not in that. Mode. Let, let's talk about what you are doing and how you want to look ahead and not back. Well, the college had a series of events. Soon after the tragedy, uh, the college had a uh, reflection renewal event where we invited the college community, the, the outside community to participate. And that was kind of a closure for us to some degree, uh, although we are still continuing to deal with the reverberations of that that event. And the two officers, you say, have just are back on the job and just, just want to do their job. They don't want to They really want to do their job. Yeah. They're not interested in the limelight. Uh, you know, they're, they're hard workers. They're police officers at heart, and that's what they do. And, and they just want to get back on the job. So a, a terrific community college, great resource for the community. And uh, as far as, as you and, and the campus are concerned, time to move on. Very much so. I think we've turned the corner on that. It, it is part of our 50-year history. Just last April, we celebrated our 50th anniversary as an institution. Oh. So this is part of our 50 years, but we're not going to be defined by this event. Does it in any way what happened make you feel uh, any less safe? Oh, quite the opposite. Uh, the district, because we're part of a district, has really invested resources to be able to upgrade all the security measures. Uh, that uh, throughout the district. Mm -hmm. So uh, we feel very comfortable in the downtown campus and also on our west campus and throughout the district that the security measures have been beefed up. Terrific. Thanks so much for joining us in that event tomorrow morning, public invited, 11 a.m. in the Student Center at El Centro College. We appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.